Welcome back. It is 613 and you know it's not just Valentine's Day guys. That's true. It's President's Day weekend as well and with the official holiday being on Monday. That's true. So this is like the kickoff to President's That's Day right. weekend. And Brooke is with a student in Dahlgren who has a special interest <laughs> in our founding fathers and his teacher has taken notice. Good morning, Evie and Dave. You know, most kids in second grade, from what I remember, are kind of into video games, playing with their dolls. But let me tell you, not Jonathan here. He's all about the president. And I'm going to introduce you to him in just a moment. But first, I want to introduce you to a second grade teacher, Miss Belangi. Thank you for having me this morning. Thank you for being here. And so how did you notice, you know, Jonathan's special interest in presidents? Yes, well, as a second grade teacher, in the beginning of the year, we play a lot of get-to-know-you games. And I can remember one of the first few days of school, we played a snowball fight, and I had put up on the board what you did over the summer. And as I picked up, most of them, it said, play with my dog, went on vacations, went swimming. But the one I picked up said, learn my presidents. And I thought, well, that's unusual, and I tried to guess who it was. And when I found out it was Jonathan, I just thought one day he finished something early, and I said, hey, Jonathan, turn your paper over and write me a presidential fact. So it kind of became a small tradition. I thought I was encouraging Jonathan to learn more facts, but quickly did I learn Jonathan probably already knew more facts than I did to begin with. So that's really what got us here. So I'm happy to be here this morning, and this is Jonathan's first time on TV, so he's pretty excited about it. And so this is Jonathan right here. And so, you know, Jonathan, I was talking to my coworkers before I left the station to come up here, and their favorite president, or the one they remember the most, is Ronald Reagan. What number president was he? 40. Okay, I don't know if that's right. I gotta look that up. I gotta Google that. I trust it's you though. Correct. It's, it's actually correct. And so, what are some things you know about Reagan? Well, Reagan was a movie star before he became president. Plus, he was even liked to do. Well, really, I did not know that. I did know that he liked a vacation in Texas, I think, so that kind of makes sense to me. And he was a movie star. And he was a movie star. That is very true. Before presidency. And so, okay, so we're the, kind of known as the land of Lincoln. What number of president was Lincoln, and what are some facts about him that you know? Well, Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president. And eight, in Abraham Lincoln, he signed the law and freed the slaves in 1860. In 1863, he gave the Gettysburg Address in 1863. And plus, he even, he even got a letter from a girl saying he would look better with a beard. He would look better with the beard? Okay. And so I want to know really quickly, who's your favorite president? Lincoln. Lincoln? Okay, good answer. So that may be why you know so much about him individually, huh? No, no? it's just because I like him. <laughs> okay, okay. Well... We're going to come back, and I'm going to quiz you even more on your presidents because we still have quite a few to go through, right? Right. Okay, sounds good. Well, you know, Nick, it was, it's cold outside. When is this cold going to end? <laughs> Notice, well, he's a cute kid. Oh, my and gosh, extremely, yes. extremely smart. Smart. Notice oh, Brooks inside totally this morning. I'm totally in love with this kid. He's so cute. Oh, Jonathan. Notice she's inside this morning. Yes, she yeah. is. She's bundled up. Jonathan looked bundled up, too.